Hi guys, this is Dr. Holly here. This is my very first video blog. Most of you know that um, I always say um, when you do something for the first time, kind of remember the moment, live in the moment. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? So this is definitely a first for me, so I want to remember this moment. I want to start off my blog talking a little bit about why or what the purpose is in my uh, New Year's revolution challenge, the, the go public, get vulnerable challenge that so many of you have signed up for. And it's really great to see how many people are willing to go out there and put their goals and their challenges and put it out there for everybody to see. So it's been, it's been a great response. The reason that I decided to do this um, New Year's revolution instead of a New Year's resolution is this is the time of year that I see so many people in my practice. Um, clients come in, patients come in, and they all are excited and they want to lose weight and they want to change behaviors and they want to they want to start new. You know, it's a great thing about the New Year's you get to start new. And so it's a really exciting time. And I love talking to people and helping people around this time. What I think is kind of uh, worrisome or what's not so great is even just a few weeks later, you know, definitely four weeks later, that enthusiasm's gone and people aren't keeping their promises and people aren't able to really live what they envisioned when they started the year. So the idea behind this New Year's revolution is let's do it differently. I love the idea of wanting to change and transform your life and put new behaviors out there and, and live with purpose. I love that idea. Um, I just don't want it to fall off. And I don't think it has to. So the idea of the New Year's Revolution is to push back against the norm, to not let it fall off, to do something different this time. And so that really is what kind of kicked off this idea. And in my opinion, the biggest thing that you have to do to keep a new behavior going to, to transform your life and make it a permanent part of your life is you've got to get your mind right. You've really got to work on that mindset piece. You've got to work on your internal motivation. Um, you've got to do a lot around really making um, your mind right that I sometimes call it a mental muscle. It's, it's a lot of times we concentrate on the body you know, what we need to do in terms of what to eat or how much to move or, you know, even even around, you know, how much to sleep, all those things. But we don't really ever pull the mind into it. And the mind is really what makes it stick. So I've designed this 12-week challenge to really put all the pieces I think you need to make this different, to make it different this time, to push back against what normally happens and make these new behaviors stick. So that's why I call it a revolution. Um, it's also one reason why I want you to go public with it because it puts it out there. We're going to have some support that also will help make it stick. So I'm really excited that so many people have reached out and so many people have gotten vulnerable. We'll talk more about that. Um, and also, just so you know, I'm going to go public with my own challenge. Um, I am always learning and I still am transforming. It's never over. So I am going to also have a challenge. I'm going to put it out there. So I'm going to get vulnerable right there with you. Hopefully we can learn things as we go. Um, definitely do the homework. I'm going to be putting a homework out every week that's going to help you get your mind right. It's going to help you really use that mental muscle. So I'm really excited and I hope you are too. I'm going to, like I said, be blogging pretty often. So keep coming back and looking and share your results. That's another thing. I want you absolutely to share your results. So see you in a couple days, but I uh, wanted to get this out there. Thanks.